it means something uh, very profound because I'm very cognizant of the importance of the Royal Photographic Society and the depth of its history. And uh, I am a self-taught historian. I am very passionate for history. And I've had <laughs> exposure and uh, interest in learning more about British photography, photography in this country, uh, even if it was practiced elsewhere, collected here, for example, um, for 30 or 40 years. And I never expected to have this honor. So it really was a, a, a delightful surprise. And as I said in my remarks earlier, um, my parents are English, but they migrated to Canada. And my wife is English, my children are English. So it is, it feels, um, it's not a foreign thing, even though I'm a Canadian citizen, it doesn't feel like a foreign thing. I was trained as an anthropologist. So I look at a photograph, not just as an artwork, but as a cultural artifact, a, 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 something that is born of the culture, of the society. And therefore it follows fashions, uh, it follows currents. Uh, the kind of photographs people are taking in 2016 are not the kind of photographs they're taking in, 20, in the year 2000 or 1990 or 1980. And it's this richness that I like. The fact that it's so varied, the fact that you have advertising, commerce, publicity, fashion, medicine, engineering, industry, art, amateur, it's just a, it's just a, a fabulous world and I keep discovering a new part of it. I keep thinking I understand each part of it and then I discover something new. And the award ceremony is a good example of that. What was projected here was new to me, a lot of it. Not everything, but a good, a good amount of it was new to me. That changes all the time. So one moment it was uh, George Hoenigen Hune, the famous uh, fashion photographer of the 1920s and 30s. And uh, one moment it's Man Ray. And uh, one moment it's uh, Edward Bertinsky today, and uh, one moment it'll be somebody I discover tomorrow. So I do feel a bit like a butterfly, that I alight on a subject and, and then I move on. So the inspiration will change. Can I give you a complex answer to that? The most successful projects I've done, let's say in terms of sales, like the book I did on the body, which is more or less half a million copies sold since 1994, is something that doesn't mean as much to me as a book which was almost a disaster and sold no, no copies for various reasons, called Dan Weiner America Worked. So, when I, when I think of what's important to me, it's sometimes the things that are not particularly successful. I take the successes, I'm quite happy to have them, but life is more, more nuanced than that. And I, I now am old enough to be happy with both, both of those things. I've had enough successes and enough failures to feel comfortable with the mix.